Alright, lads, so earlier today we did get the grand reveal of Spirits Off Air with you at round 7 featuring Roka and Cien. The two characters that go back to back against each other. Really cool moment in the final novel. I'm happy to have them in game, so let's react to the gameplay today. If you missed our two videos that we already posted, us reacting to the trailer reveal of the particular characters, or if you missed the, you know, breakdown of the character's skills and us finding out what strong attacks they have, definitely recommend you guys check them out. But for now, we're looking at these gameplays. Now, what I really do like is, of course, the artwork. Kelly have been doing a smashing job on the artwork lately. And, you know, Roka looks absolutely beautiful. CN looks absolutely... He looks terrifying. This character looks great. I love the mixture of the blonde and the pink hair. And you can actually see in the corner of his eye there, you actually can see the number zero, which is his spider number. He is a spider number zero. He's 100, but then I think when he resurrects, he becomes zero. So he's a really cool character. I'm excited to see the gameplay. I wasn't too excited for the strong attacks that they do have, but it's fine. I I'm still looking forward to these characters. I'm still going to be summoning, uh, but I'm not going to be going down to zero like I thought I would because of how they turned down. I'm going to be going for one of them of each, and then I'm basically just done with the banner. Starting up first, we have Roka. We have Roka first. Okay. So, ooh, look at that model. She looks cute. I I'm, I'm excited for this. I'm excited for this. So, Roka is a technique character with Hollow Killer. She has great set of skills. I mean, like, she, she, her whole thing is, I remember, if you don't know about Roka, Roka takes abilities from other people. That's what her things can do. She can encode abilities and use them. And that's why you're going to see in her soul bomb, she can use Mugetsu because she basically stole it. Stole it, right? From uh, Ichigo. She didn't steal it. She just borrows it or, like, just copies it for the most part. Uh, she has long stride. That should be referencing the fact that she takes Samari Sonido. And I believe her strong attacks and attacks will be based off some of the other Aram cards that we have in game. Her whole gameplay kit wise is a bit lackluster as she doesn't really have the best strong attack one a vortex se2 very powerful se3 but what's really carrying the character here is the strong attacks i mean she has like an 80 percent berserker with two extra flash steps long stride extra skills in arena spiritual pressure boost she is going to be hitting very very hard mainly on her third strong attack the other strong attacks aren't really the best but she also has like shared status immunity she also has you know a team heal Okay, so let's actually have a, let's break down the character, right? Let's 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 rewind it real quick. Let's rewind it because I want to. I'm excited for this character. I've been like this is one of the the characters I've been waiting for for a very long time, and we can already see from the get go that she's gonna have very similar ability to other Aranka. So looking at that, her Nazring appears to be based off Saruchi. because again, like Roka doesn't have abilities of herself. She just kind of takes from other people. Her SA one, that's referencing Dordoni's uh, attack. That's kind of interesting. Okay. SA2, again, looks to be... That's a beautiful Vortex, though, to be fair. I believe that's also referencing Sarucci again. It's kind of unfortunate she took attacks from the, you know, lame wrong cars. <laughs> it's like, you know, maybe if she stole abilities from other people, she would have had a better kit. And I'm pretty sure that's uh, Loopy. Loopy's SA3. That's kind of cool. <laughs> it's kind of cool, I guess. Uh, we're going straight into the Soul Bomb, too. Soul Bomb is absolutely beautiful. So this is her using an ability like Mugetsu. Does the music cut? The music kind of cuts. The music kind of cuts. I like it. That was quick. Let's rewind it. Let's rewind it. Let's 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 check it out again, right? So again, naturally looks nice. SA1 is the 18 collision magnification strong attack. It's pretty much one of the worst strong attack ones in the game, and it really does suck, especially because she has an SA2 vortex that, you know, it's the second part of Eisen's SA2. It's the vortex, but she's lacking the distant AoE, the first initial hit, which really makes that strong attack too powerful. So the SA2, I can forgive it, but the SA1 really ruins the character. Not ruins it, but it's less ideal. Had she had a better SA1, maybe just a beam forward, even a lunch, I feel like she would have been great. Uh, but unfortunately, you're, what you're going to find with this character is that she's going to be a tad bit slower. Which is fine. I mean, she's not bad. The, the, she's going to clear content just fine. And she's going to be fun. I'm liking the visuals that I'm seeing here. Uh, but she's definitely going to be on the slower side. But what I want to say about the Soul Bomb is obviously because if you've read the novels, if you knew about Roka, you would know that her Soul Bomb would be using Mugetsu. Uh, I always imagined her doing it. I, I don't know why. Like, I didn't imagine... Because they don't, I'm not sure if they describe it well, but I didn't think she would actually summon, like, a clone of Mugetsu to a certain extent. Because, like, you have Ichigo here, technically. Get the little smile. It's cute. I love it. And then you have Mugetsu. It, it's so cool. I love it. You know, I, I'm someone that's been, you know, I said it, what, a couple months ago before the anniversary. I want a new Mugetsu. I want a new full holo Ichigo, too, but I want a new Mugetsu, man. We need these canon characters getting powerful characters again. And... 
it's nice to get a glimpse of Mugetsu since the fourth anniversary, the last time we did see it. Even though it's not Ichigo using it, I'm still happy to see Mugetsu return one way, shape, or form. Next up, though, we have CN Grands, the clone of Zapolo. If you don't know about this character, essentially, Zapolo made a clone of himself. He split himself in half, essentially, because he had this one side that was just too angry, similar to Yami. He didn't like it. He thought it was getting in the way of his, you know, scientific side. So, essentially, he split up in two. And this version of Zapolo, CN Grands, is the, you know, primal, angry side of Zapolo, the more powerful one to a certain extent. And this is a resurrection form. Definitely looks weird because he's kind of like small, I guess, but those wings are horrifying. I like the model. I think the model looks really, really cool. Um, I'm, for, I'm for it. I would have wished, though, if his hair was more blonde instead of just being pink, in my opinion, uh, just to separate him a tad bit from, you know, Zapro. Because Zapro does have pink hair. Sien has, like, yellow hair. And I think when he goes into his resurrection form is when the, I think, pink hair comes out. But Nightstring is nice, though. That looks great. He's not in that character. But, oh, look at that, though. You can actually see the tentacles in front of him, like, actually doing the attacks. That's really cool. I like that. SA1 looks beautiful. The the color scheme with this character, the purple and yellow, looks really, really nice. Uh, even though, he, again, he's a Zapro, it's something that we've never really seen before with, like, this color scheme. It looks nice. Wow. The SA2 looks beautiful. Wow. I, I, I'm for this, you know? I thought I'd be more a fan of, of, of Roka. Um, but CN is stealing the show here. It's mainly, again, due to the, the, the attacks, right? Roka's limited because she's using abilities that we've kind of seen before, and it's not even, like, flashy abilities. She's literally just taking stuff from, like, some mid Aranka, right? But, yeah, I called them mid. I called them mid. But let's see the Harrowing Sarah, where I think he uses three Sarahs. Oh. That's great. That's great. I'm happy to see Zapro's uh, voice actor return for this role, too. Really, really cool. Same goes for Roka, too. You, you think, like, Roka got a call from BBS, like Caleb, and said, yo, we're making a character for Roka. He's like, huh? For Roka? Why? <laughs> but anyway, uh, that's basically the gameplay for the two new characters. Only two characters this time around, unfortunately. Uh, I do like them. I like the way they turned out visually. Obviously, strong attack-wise, I would want them to get better strong attacks, but I think they're fine. I think they're fine. I think both of them are going to hold up for a while, yet, you know, Roka has the short end of the stick on the strong attacks. She basically has one strong attack, which is an SA3 that can do a lot of damage. The SA1 and 2 aren't really ideal here, uh, but she does have some good crowd control. She is supporting the team, too, so I do like Roka as a character. Still excited for both of them. Uh, before watching the gameplay, I was only going to go for Roka, but you know what? Now, if I get CN, I'm not going to be too upset. I think he's actually a really cool character. Definitely surprised me here with the gameplay. And in the comments below, lads, let me know who you liked more in terms of the visuals here. For me, I was going and expecting Roka, but I like CN was actually the, the more visually impressive one here. Even the Soul Bomb looked great. You know, it's not to say Roka looks bad. I've already mentioned it. Her attacks, she's just taken it from the Arankas, so it's like, you know, it's nothing too special. It's cool, though. I like that they actually did that, but I really do like Roka's Soul Bomb. It's, it's absolutely beautiful, man. Just seeing her, it would have been nice if we could actually have the subtitles here, but just seeing her, like, summon Mugetsu. Look at that. The sound effect, too. Look, at, look just into it. Like, when, when the Mugetsu comes out, it's so cool. Look at that little smile. Look, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. And that's a quick Mugetsu. That's a quick Mugetsu. That looks... Honestly, I'm, I'm a big fan of his Soul Bomb. It looks great. It looks really, really good. Definitely way more impressive. Because I kind of had an expectation with Roka. With CN, I didn't really know what they would do visually. So, that's why I'm more surprised here. But with that said, lads, that was basically the reaction for the gameplay for today. Again, I think both look great. Definitely more impressed by CN. In the comments below, let me know who you were more impressed by. Uh, with that said, though, keep in mind for those that aren't part of the Discord community or any, like, Reddit community, for example. We are getting a new story. So, that's, like, another, like, 300 orbs, I believe. We're getting a free guaranteed novel character and it does go up to Kiyosuke's banner which is actually kind of exciting and that's basically about it so some free summons coming our way we also have more story to get orbs we also have the Senkamon the Yodowichi epic rage returning so a lot of things coming our way to get some orbs so if you are a bit low you can definitely save up and get some orbs for this particular banner so with that said hope you lads enjoyed the video I'll see you lads next time peace